Hey guys, after making that last video about how to balance the 2470 on the Weeble S, I realized there are still a lot of questions. So in this video, we're gonna answer those questions. So by far the most popular question I got and something that I completely did not expect was, what is the quick release plate that you're using? So this is an Arca Swiss quick release plate designed by the company Three Legged Thing which designs tripods and this the reason why I use this quick release plate as opposed to a different Arca Swiss one this is the more popular one that I've seen with a knob is that this one doesn't allow the quick release plate to sit flush against the gimbal for example when I put this on here it actually pushes against the sides of the base of the gimbal where it's mounted and will actually keep it a little crooked and so I was looking for a quick release plate that didn't have that knob problem. So this one by three legged thing has a quick release lever that allows you to lock the quick release plate in place. And it allows you to sit flush because there's no interference here from this lever as opposed to the knob. That's the reason why I use this one. However, today we wanna to go over how to balance the gimbal without a quick release plate. I realize that that may have influenced something. I'm not entirely sure. So let's, I took it off and let's go ahead and try to balance the camera, the a7 III with the 24 to 70 on the Weevil S with no quick release plates. And this is just mounted straight onto the gimbal itself. So first off, we'll unlock the two axes here to get our roll and our tilt. So just like before, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna balance this. We're gonna set it to 50 millimeters. All right, so something I noticed real quick just from extending the lens when I put this on without a quick release plate is that the clearance is very, 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 very low. So basically when twisting the ring here, it does rub against the rubber bottom of the quick release plate. Uh, shouldn't be a problem, but it does add a little bit of tension when you're trying to retract or uh, extend the lens. So one thing to note to start is I put the camera pretty much as far back as it can go on the quick release plate. And when extending at 50, it is a little back heavy here. So I'm gonna move the quick release plate forward. Still a little back heavy. Go ahead and we'll move it forward again. So now it's leaning. And that means we need to adjust the height here. We need to take some weight off the bottom by raising this up just a smidge. All right, looks like we have our tilt in place. So now let's do the roll here. Right now it, it's just heavily going to the left. So we're gonna take the plate and slide it to the right. it too much now it's leaning right so it looks like we are balanced here at 50. all right now that we got our tilt and our roll let's go ahead and do our pan axis it's heavy because it's going backwards so i'm gonna move this forward a bit be able to just tilt the camera in any position should be able to hold all right Looking good. All right, so we are balanced with the 24 to 70 on the Weeble S gimbal with no quick release plate. I don't have the little strap holders on the sides of the camera. I took those off because I don't use those. It has two SD cards in and a battery. So that's pretty much all the weight on here. This is with the Sigma 24 to 70. The G Master is a similar weight, so I assume you should be able to balance it as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the pictures of the rulers or the markings that are on the sides of the gimbal so that you can see where I'm at in order for me to balance this. Let's do a quick test. We'll go ahead and we'll turn the gimbal on. And it is on. We are good to go here. And we can go into underslung without hitting the top of the camera. So that's awesome. And then we can switch from here and go to, let's go to 70 millimeters as well. And again, the traction does make it a little hard to do it one-handed, so I would use a quick release plate. But we can go to 70, do the same thing. And then switch back to 24. 
and do the same thing and there's no vibrations or anything when I move in any certain direction that I feel from the gimbal, meaning that it's strained on some of the motors, so I don't feel anything. So there you have it, the balanced 24 to 70 on the Weeble S with no quick release plate. So I just wanted to make sure that that was possible and it didn't have anything to do with me using this quick release plate in the last video. I am using the auto power settings for the motors. So you can go ahead and you can fine tune the motors and there's an option for auto so that it will calculate those settings for you so that you don't have to punch in those numbers manually. Uh, it calculates it based on the weight and everything that's on the gimbal at the time that you calculate it. So if you switch the weight and payload too much, then you probably want to recalculate the motors to make sure that you're good to go. So that is the 24 to 70 on the A7 III balanced on the Weeble S. Remember, this has to be on the Weeble S gimbal, not the Weeble Lab. This is the Weeble Lab gimbal. I got this when it came out and this has a smaller clearance than the Weeble S and will definitely not be able to hold the weight in the payload of the A7 III with the 24 to 70. So this definitely is a no-go. The Weeble S can do it, the Weeble Lab cannot. So some of you guys were asking about cameras with larger profiles than the a7 III. So I brought out the D750 and I have no idea if this is gonna be able to balance on here, but we're gonna give it a shot. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll connect to the camera and remember, lens cap off. And in this case, this is a 24 to 120. So we're gonna probably balance this around somewhere between 70 and 80 millimeters. All right, so, oh, just a little bit heavy in the back. Still. This is always a process, just making sure you get it right. All right, looks like we are balanced for the most part. All right, now that we got everything balanced, we're gonna do our final axis, the pan here. Okay, one thing I can notice straight off the bat is that there is clearance here for the D750 to be able to go into under slung mode and I haven't even turned the gimbal on yet. But that's shocking to me, to be honest. All right, well, let's turn it on and see what happens. All right. And well, there you have it, the D750 with clearance to be able to go into under slung mode. Balanced on the Weeble S and that, to be honest to me, is actually pretty surprising because the clearance of this camera is pretty drastic compared to the A7 III profile. You can tell that it's a lot higher, yet it has enough clearance to be able to clear the top without the viewfinder hitting the back of the gimbal. So that really is mind blowing to me. So there you have it guys, balancing the D750 with the 24 to 120 F4 and the A7 III with the 24 to 70 Sigma lens. And I am genuinely surprised that the D750 worked, but the Weeble S was able to balance both of these and it seemed like it performed fine have to use this for a longer term period to make sure everything is fine, but I'm sure adjusting the motors and everything that it shouldn't have any problems. So this was a surprising result, but was able to balance both of these things. And I hope that you are able to balance yours as well. Just remember to start off one axis at a time, make sure each one is balanced, and then you should be good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and I will try my best to get to those. And I will see you guys in the next one.